JMS Flower Farms has been helping grape growers protect their vines from insects and fungal diseases with their exclusive product, JMS Stylet Oil, since 1992. Visit www.stylitoil.com today. What do you know about grapevine red blotch disease? Hi, I'm Dan Malcolm with the California Ag Network. Grapevine red blotch disease is becoming a serious issue to California grape growers. Dr. Mysore Sudarshana, USDA Agricultural Research Service, has released a new brochure intended to provide guidelines to recognize and diagnose grapevine red blotch disease. The red blotch associated virus does not appear to be of recent origin, but the disease may have escaped attention because symptoms are similar to grapevine leaf roll disease. In 2008, according to the new brochure, Cabernet Sauvignon grapevines in research plots at UC Davis's Oakville Station exhibited symptoms resembling leaf roll disease. These grapevines produced clusters with reduced sugar content causing delayed harvests. Among the grapevine pests and diseases, only leaf roll diseases exhibit similar canopy symptoms and most importantly cause reduced sugar accumulation in the berries. Occasionally, the color development was also poor in some clusters and clusters exhibited increased acidity as well. Laboratory tests conducted at private and public grapevine testing service centers failed to detect any of the leaf roll viruses in these samples. Commercial vineyards planted with Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon in Napa County also exhibited similar disease symptoms as at the Oakville Station. Thus far, the disease symptoms have been observed in vineyards planted with red grape varieties such as Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Petit Syrah, Petit Verdot, and Zinfandel. In addition to North Coast vineyards in Napa and Sonoma counties, disease vineyards have also been found in the Central Coast in San Luis Obispo County and in the San Joaquin Valley in Fresno County. There is still a lot of research that needs to be done to definitely correlate the virus with symptoms and to determine mechanisms of distribution. Unpublished results suggest that the virus can be transmitted by grafting no other mechanisms of dispersal in the vineyard have been identified at this time. Symptoms generally start appearing in late August through September as irregular blotches on leaf blades on basal portions of shoots. The most significant impact of the disease appears to be on the bricks units of the berries. Bricks of grapes in vines showing red blotch symptoms has been found to be four to five units lower than those with green canopies and this difference is higher than those normally seen in leaf roll affected grapevines. Appropriate laboratory testing and careful observations of symptoms and vineyard conditions can help distinguish between these various factors. What can grape growers do? If grapevines, red or white, are producing fruit with bricks values lower than expected and are not showing classic leaf roll-like symptoms, please contact your local viticulture farm advisor. In the meantime, an excellent opportunity to learn more about grapevine red blotch disease is coming to you in the form of an educational webinar. Join Cornell University virologist Mark Fuchs, University of California Cooperative Extension, Farm Advisor Rhonda Smith, and University of California Davis Foundation Plant Services Director Deborah Galino for an informational session on red blotch disease. They will describe the virus, its impact on vine health, what informal field observations have told us, and what measures are being taken to test and identify infected vines and planting material. The webinar is taking place on Wednesday, March 27th from 12.30 to 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time. To register, go to the website listed on the screen. Thank you so much for listening to our report on grapevine red blotch disease. This is Dan Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.